Hello, let's do Wordle for 12. And for the exercise theme, Tornado suggested dance and sport. And if you believe it, in college, I was actually on the dance sport team. We did ballroom dancing. Well, it's all gray, which is interesting. So what letters are we actually missing here? That's, that's actually a lot of information. How do we construct a word out of these letters? Because this is a pretty good start. Let's see. Obviously, we want to try the U and the I, and maybe even the Y. Words I'm thinking about right now are guild or build, but that D is gray, so I bet I can come up with something better. Humid doesn't work. It, that D is being gray really reduces what words I can do here. Another option is to pick an I or a U and get a bunch of consonants, which can also be very helpful. So like two double consonants, like... Ah, Flick almost works, but that C is gray, something like that. While is not good, because that E is gray. Okay, well, I see I see FL, I see BL, and then I could do an I or a U, but then what? what's a double consonant I can put at the end of the word? I can't do CH or CK. There's no N for something like N, T, or N, G. GH sometimes can, can work, but that's usually with like O, U, G, H. Wow, this is tough. Okay, um, let's see here, Q, U, something like Quill is, if there's an L, it's somewhat more useful because uh, then we know if there's two L's and we also know, have a better chance of placing an L. It's a place to start. It's not great, but I'm going to give Quill a chance here. Wow, okay, so there's a U, there's no I, there could still be a Y, but... That U is second. Could there be a second U? Something like that? I don't know what that would be. This is a really unusual word. <laughs> Must use the Y, right? Something like fully, but I guess getting rid of that L was helpful because now I can think of like fully, bully, that sort of thing, but we know there's no L. There's also no Q, which is interesting. Funky almost works, but again, that N is gray. Bulky almost works. This is really hard when you just have one green and a bunch of gray letters. Oh, is today mummy? What a guess if it's mummy. Mummy or gummy? Or muggy? Alright, well... I really just want it to be mummy, <laughs> so I'm gonna start with that. Alright, not mummy. Oh, not none of... Ooh, oh gosh, it's none of the things I thought of. Ooh, what a wasted guess. At least it ends in Y, that's good info. So I was, I, my instinct was right about it ending in Y, but wow, what else does this? What? Buggy? Could be buggy. I think that, that's gotta be the last thing, right? Yes, okay, I got it. Wow, okay, that was, <laughs> that was a tough one today. Uh, did you also struggle on that one? I mean, I feel like it just doesn't have letters in it, but I got it in five, which I, I think is not bad for a buggy. <laughs> Maybe I could have thought of doing more letters than just three M's in Mummy, but I just really wanted it to be Mummy. But either way, uh, tomorrow's theme is puzzles. So just anything puzzle related, doesn't have to be word puzzles, any, any kind of puzzle you like. Just two words related to that. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, then please subscribe.